The committee also recommends relocating and building a new Lacamas Heights Elementary to accommodate 600 students. This proposal for Lacamas and the new Lacamas speaks to the issues that we have with an aging building with the safety concerns with this building, with the lack of spaces that fit kids' needs today. The new school's property would be built north of the lake. With projected growth comes planning for new schools and buying property. And we do have two or three sites that uh, we are currently engaged in the possibility of purchasing. Um, as we grow the, that, those types of sites, 12 acres for an elementary, 30 acres for a uh, middle school, 50 acres and out for uh, a high school will be harder and harder to come by. The district works closely with the City of Camas to build schools where they are needed and have dual use. We were very active in property they were considering for future uses and um, when the school builds a building they need play fields, ball fields usually, the city needs parks and so there's just no reason why we can't find property that works for both of those things at the same time. Several of Camus's older schools are due for facility improvements. Dorothy Fox Elementary needs a new roof after years of patching leaks. Other schools need new carpet, new flooring, bus parking, lighting and ADA upgrades. That really may seem secondary to education but if your kid's cold uh, or they can't hear, uh, hurt, hear well. Uh, if, if it's just an un unwelcoming environment, it's really hard to have high expectations for good learning and, and exceptional focus. The Facilities Committee also recommends the renovation and repurposing of the Garver Theater and Garfield Building. The old high school and performing arts center is a community landmark. The community has a unique asset in the Garver Theater. It was built in the 30s. It was built to last. The bond measure calls for modernizing the historic theater and making it available for school and community use. I think we have the opportunity to take all of our preschool programs and create a um, one-stop place for parents. I would like to tie in the senior citizen component and have um, a, an area for them to come hang out, but also be with, um, assign them like a bigger buddy with our, our little guys. With savings from state matching funds and impact fees and earnings, the total bond package is $119 million. For the average homeowner, whose home is valued at $300,000, it would be an increase of $12 a month in taxes. This district especially, their, their stewardship of our money is phenomenal. Uh, I've sat in on, on budget meetings with uh, the superintendent and the, the school board and they pinch a nickel so hard the buffalo squeals. I just urge our community to look at the bond proposal, look at the projects that are included in the bond, look at the tax impact that it will have. But most importantly, I urge you, after you've studied and made your decision, I urge you to vote. Vote February 9th, 2016. For more information, contact us at 2016bond at camus.wednet.edu 360-335-3000 camus.wednet.edu slash 2016bond